Greetings, gentlemen. It's Alexor again with another very fancy build. This one is a fancy one. Um, as always, if we try... Actually, no, let's just, let's just show you what it is. This is the Volcanic Orb Void Damage Spellblade Mage. <laughs> that's, that's a weird thing, I know. But we actually managed to make it good. It's not insane, because as always, if you use a damage type that isn't sort of the base type of the class, it's not as good as other ones. So Void with the Mage, while this works and it's all cool, it's not as crazy. So gonna put this out there. It's not as crazy as like a Frost Claw, Cold Damage Spellblade or whatever, or even a Firebrand Spellblade. So bear that in mind. It can do some good corruption, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I don't think you can go super high with it. This is more a fun build, right? To have fun. This is why we try these things. So you need a bunch of items for that. So let's start with the items. Um, actually, no. Let's just show you how it works, I guess. That's better. There's your... Damn it, like, like crazy. There's your volcanic orb, right? It's void damage, as you can tell. And we also gotta spam it a little. That's the main idea of it. And the reason we're doing this with the spell blade and not with directly your sorcerer, because I did try it with the sorcerer, by the way. Uh, it's not good. Because the sorcerer dies too fast. And the volcanic orb, we want to spam it consistently. You see, there's a lot of damage. We have no issues running through all that. The reason we do it with the spell blade is because we have mana strike, right? We don't need a blink skill, we don't have one because we gain a corrupted, hell, corrupted heraldry, that's a tough word to say. If we keep spamming our orb, you see this in the bottom left, this one here, corrupted heraldry. We keep spamming it and you, you literally have to shoot it all the time. And it's fine because you have the mana strike to gain our mana back up, so don't worry. And you see... Um, it's kind of hard to see the orb, actually, because it's dark and purple. Um, damn. Compared to other skills. But it works. Alright? Very, very simple. You can see it better here. See, that's the... And it also casts the... I don't even know. A Glyph of the Minion or whatever. It's not a Glyph of the Minion. It casts some sort of aura thingy as well that explodes. We're going to go over the uh, spells in a second. But that's what this does, right? So, let's go over the items. You need... You need at least, I would say, three of these. You definitely need this other one, otherwise it doesn't work at all. Lament of the Lost Refuge, right? Volcanic Orb converted to Void. This is what you need. You can't do it without it, okay? Then you have 100% chance to gain Corrupted Heraldry when you cast Volcanic Orb. That means you just gain a stack. I don't know why, why they put it like this with the 100% chance. Um, you could just say you gain a stack by <laughs> casting it, but whatever. And this is you sort of your buff. That gives you... Oh yeah, because you also had a 34% chance to gain Corrupted Territory when hit by Shrapnel from Volcanic Orb. And this gives you 5% increased movement speed times 12. <clears throat> Pretty nice. Mana region per stack of Corrupted times 12. Spell Void damage per stack of Corrupted times 12. But all stacks of Corrupted Territory are lost when you use a movement skill. See, that's why we can't use a Blink instead of movement skill. Also, 29% of remaining Volcanic Orb cooldown recovered when you use a melee attack and hit at least one enemy. So, you wanna shoot your orbs and you wanna hit with Mana Strike consistently so you never run out of mana and you can just keep spamming your orbs. That's the idea of the build and this is why I went with the Spell Blade because you can run the Mana Strike in a Sorcerer but it always feels bad. It always feels weird to me if I do this, so um, I never I never go with this. this. This is why I felt this feels better in the Spell Blade. The other one you absolutely need is this, the Eye of Orexia, right? Oh, I actually forgot to mention, this also has 107 spell void damage bonus and 160 melee damage. So this is also why you want to hit melee. The Eye of Orexia, pretty nice. 119% increased volcanic orb damage. 69% increased cooldown recovery speed for orb. That's great. We want this, so we can just keep spamming our orb. This is why you need this item. 43% increased volcanic orb speed, nice. Shrapnel speed, nice. Cast speed, nice. Bunch of resistances, we don't care, but that just makes our orb super great. 
Then, when we look at void damage, it's always tough to find things that actually fit properly, but this is not bad. The Siphon of Anguish, you should have this if you play a little bit with um, Shade of Orobis. Um, we leech damage as health, that's nice. But also, we apply Doom on hit, and we have Void Penetration with Doom, if you don't know. And Doom, massive void damage over time. That's what Doom is. So we also do Doom damage, uh, Doom damage, void damage over time. I tried to put as much void damage as possible into this build. But it's actually not much you can do with the mage. So yeah, that's what it is. But it's just generally a nice addition. And we have the Dark Stride that gives us even more move speed. That's great. But I kind of just went with it because of the 10 melee void damage. Just more damage. This just adds void damage to your mana strike, right? Because it just adds void damage. And movement speed per added melee void damage. So you get even more movement speed. And of course, 9% increased void damage. Great. That's just a great addition to that whole thing. And we need a set item. Locket of the Forgotten Knight. 6% increased void damage. Crit chance with void skills. Inflict time rod on hit. Another dot with void. And chance to create a void rift when you hit an enemy. Void penetration would be nice, but the other items sucked. For that set, because set items are still bad. So we went with this. Helmet is simple. Mana, int, health, cold dress. Um... Health is always great because we only sit at a thousand health at this point, right? We leech health, and I think we also create ward by hitting, but still. You want to have health, okay? Very simple. This one we just went with int because int is always a great scaling mechanism for um, the mage. We don't really have any good void body armors. I tried a bunch, it wasn't really that good. This turned out to be the best, especially because it also gives us mana. You want to have the mana and the end on it. Ward decay threshold is nice. And of course, the implicit mana spent gained this ward. Great, because you're going to spend a lot of mana. We build up ward pretty greatly with this thing. The resistances, you ju just to cap your resistances, but the prefixes is what you want to look for. This one was great because it had void damage, 80% more increased void damage and mana regen. Perfetto. And resistances, of course, and health. So you want to go for void damage, obviously, I mean, it's simple. <laughs> we do have other skills. You see in the bottom there, there's also the Frost Claw. It's just sort of a nice addition because we couldn't go with anything else. Item-wise, you want to focus on void damage, okay? Very simple. Void damage again. Lighting damage just because it was a bad roll. I don't need it, but it was just in there. I mean, it helps you with your mana strike, but you don't really need it. Endurance threshold, physical res. Simple, building up your resistances. And... Here, cast speed, melee attack speed, because we're Spellblade, very nice, very simple. Nothing crazy, you, you need these three at least, this one is cool, you don't need it, but these three. And then, uh, this one of course, then you just throw void damage in it, very simple. Idols. Um, oh yeah, the fire aura is because of the skills, I'm gonna go in this later, but you wanna have... Volcanic Orb damage, Volcanic Orb speed, Volcanic Orb damage, Volcanic Orb speed. You should have these. These are great. Buff you even stronger. The rest is just uh, resistances again. Health on kill, resistances, vitality, resistances, physical rest. It's all just resistances mostly. So items are simple. You want to have these two if you have them for your orb damage. You might have even more, but you don't have the space for it. And the rest is resistances because we have them physical and cold. Poison sucks, so if you can get your resistances better than I did, I'm still working on that. But if you can get it up better than me, um, physical is always the first one, because most of the damage is physical, right? And um, depending on the bosses, you can switch around with these. Alright, that was it for the items and the idols. Now let's look into the skills. Obviously the first one is the Volcanic Orb, right? Very simple. First, we of course want to have mana efficiency. Um, Explosive ground. Oh yeah, this was the thing, right, from the orb. Yeah, yeah. The fire glyph at your feet, which explodes after 1.3 seconds. That's the thing. This thingy over here. That's the glyph of fire. That is additional damage. And as you can tell, it's converted to void, so that's great. Basically, what you do is just orb damage, right? Less mana and orb damage. It pierces. That's nice. Orb damage. Orb damage. Orb damage. Shorter cooldown. Oh, yeah, you need two in these. I forgot about this. You want to go this route first. You want to have two in this, for sure. Then you can keep casting it, and then you throw everything else into the other ones. I did go for the call damage, 
over the shrapnels that seem to be much better for the simple reason that we keep spamming the orb so much so he shoots in any direction anyway shrapnels i tried it that didn't really work that well i cannot tell you exactly why it just didn't do as much damage so i went with the core damage um on the orb very simple flame ward is pretty much the same as always to be honest uh, except i also went for the fire aura for an additional sort of extra elemental damage you don't have to go with it you can also put more into the resistances probably cleverer to do that i went with this because i was trying the dark shroud of cinders i think that's the body armor that grants you the fire aura um in the description there will be the proper build so i would respect this and go more into um elemental damage taken or this everything else is simple Oh, why do I not have this? Oh, I fucked up. You definitely need the two charges and being uh, doing it while stunned. Yeah, okay, this is fucked up. Whatever. Good thing I do these builds, so I actually realize my own build is prob problematic. Enchant weapon. It's just a nice addition. Because um, yeah, you have a chance to ignite with melee attacks and you do fire damage and melee attack speed. That really the main reason I went with it, because this gives us more mana with our mana strike. Enchant weapon for longer and elemental damage and cost less mana. Very simple. It's nothing crazy. It's mostly about the mana and the elemental damage. Because you can tell no other skills we could use really help us here if we go with white damage. That's kind of the problem with the spell blade. That's what I mentioned initially. If you go these, this route, then things... It doesn't fully fit perfectly. So you have to play around with things a little bit. And I went with these because mana strike is obvious, right? <clears throat> you gain mana by doing this. Very simple. Increase attack speed, mana gained. Um, also strikes him with mana arc that also does lightning damage, I think. Yeah, mana storm. Lightning mana cost. You gain more ward. That's great. And of course, over here, you deal increased damage if you have hit one with mana strike. And this increased spell damage. So the combination of hitting people with mana strike and your void orb is how you play this right you're shooting it then you're hitting people then you're shooting it again and you're hitting people and don't get any mana because i don't hit anyone but that's sort of the play style of the build you don't ever cast frost claw directly this is just i'm gonna show you in a second for retaliation if you fight bosses you activate your enchant weapon to gain more mana even faster and also do damage because you do void damage with your melee attacks through your item but that's the idea of it so mana strike very simple, just gain mana and uh, gain spell damage. It's 12% global, so you definitely want to hit people. And Frostler again, it's not to cast it, it's only because of this thing, you gotta go here first. Actually these two, this one, yeah. When you are hit by an enemy, you have a chance to retaliate with Frostclaw. Nice. And when you use a melee attack and hit at least one enemy, you have a chance to cast Frostclaw at it. So it's only for these two really, that's why we have it, for these two things. And of course you give it more damage, more crit chance. Spell damage per melee damage. Oh, that's also nice, yeah. So this is just an addition that sort of fits into your build. And this is also why we go with some sort of elemental damage uh, additions on the other skills with the enchant weapon, for example. More elemental damage, right, with melee attacks. Because we do fire, we do frost, and we even do lightning with the mana strike. So there's all the elements and, of course, void. So it's sort of, it does everything. But remember, your main damage dealer is your Void Orb. This is what does most of the damage. So you want to keep this... You want to keep these stacks up as much as possible. As much as possible. Gotta be at 12 at all times, really. Alright, passives. The mage got changed a little. Because uh, we don't need all this elemental stuff. It's cool, we don't really need it. We definitely need attack speed and cast speed. So we're gonna go for this. But I went with Ward over here. Ward retention, that's great. So this is what gives us later more health, right? So this is why we want to go with this. Spellblade is a little bit different. Of course, you go for fire and cold damage. That's all cool. And as well as lightning, you gotta have this always. Ward when you use elemental melee attack. And this is why we also have elemental stuff. Because we gain ward from it, right? Not just void. Because the spellblade doesn't have anything with void. It's just the item. So we have to work with all the other stuff we have. Elemental burst, that's all cool. Ward retention, elemental burst damage, great. Ward retention, damaged, less damage taken. Armor, 
arcane shield effect, etc. This just most of it is really to be to gain survivability, right? Um, yeah, melee attack speed and ward gain, classic. Health, chance to gain mana, mana gain, classic. Lighting damage, fire damage, and dexterity. We want to have dexterity because that helps us to attack faster and all these shenanigans. We don't need anything else here, actually. For now, anyway. The rest we put in the sorcerer because we want to have, of course, the arcane momentum stacks. This is also why you keep, gotta keep attacking and casting, right? Arcane momentum gives us movement speed and spell damage. Um, oh yeah, there should actually be five points in this. I guess I was working on that. It gives you spell crit chance per intelligence. That's great. And of course, spell damage and vault retention. So what you do really is you gain vault retention and vault with your attacks and spell damage so, because this is what scales your damage. So this is where the passives are very simple. We cannot go into anything with void because we don't have it. Maybe they will add it eventually, some sort of void passives or maybe even the void mastery for the mage i would like that a corrupted mage that would be cool i hope they do it at some point but until then we have to go with survivability this is all survivability package down here vault and all that and elemental damage for the other things we have so the only thing to scale our void damage with passives is through spell damage all right so um, that was it very simple i think in how it is set up and how you play it, you only really ever use two attacks. This is your orb and your right click. Or like your mana strike. And it's been doing great. So try it again in the description. There will be the proper build link to, to level 100. How I would do it or how, how I skill it. Because it's 77, right? And let me know what you think of this. If you think this is cool. If it's not enough. If they should add more to void damage, etc. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. And I will see you in the next video.